Uh, Gary, uh, a tough day for you today. What are your thoughts? No, a frustrating day, for sure. Um, we were the architects of our own downfall today. Um, we thought we were progressing on the set pieces, um, which we had in the last few games. You can see the progress we made, and then we slipped back into um, that lack of concentration and made individual errors and, and made it hard for ourselves. Um, even at 1-0, no. Um, first half, I didn't think there was much in the game, even though we were in second gear. We went out. I think we played it within ourselves in that first half. But second half, I think there was only one team trying to trying to get the result. You could see they were wasting time from kickoff. 46 minute, I remember the keeper taking 30, 40 seconds to take a kick. So you have to sense that quicker. We have to sense that quicker as a team. And I felt we had the chances. We really we had the momentum with us. We were on the front foot. We have to be more clinical when we get that front foot or, or that real positive passage of play. And, and not cost ourselves with, with, with sloppy um, lack of concentration on the goals. And that's frustrating today because for me in that second half, Forrest were there for the taking. They'd settled for the 1-0 and they were they looked worried about the 1-0 and we were on the front foot. And, um, but we were the architects of our own downfall today. I think had we cut out those individual areas and we concentrated better in those situations, we would have got a result for sure today. But obviously it wasn't a bit. What do you do to rectify those individual areas? Do you change the individuals or do you work with them? No, we work hard. We have an international break now, something I haven't been able to do with the group um, up to this point is, is spend a lot of hours on, on the training field with such a busy schedule. I get two weeks now to really drill home and, and really work on the things that we need to improve on and and the plan that we have. Um, so no, that, that'll be my focus for these next two weeks. Uh, we have to progress the team and have to uh, work hard as a group And because you can see the talent we have, you can see the team, the potential that we've got as a team. It's just that the players need to see it. They need to focus on it and, and concentrate in those crucial moments to give themselves the best chance. And how we do that, like we did in the, in the last couple of games, you can see what we can do. And um, even today in that second half, how we concentrate that better in those set pieces, um, we would have probably won that game today. But um, no, we have to we have to improve on that. You got around the back of them a few times, but you just couldn't pick out a blue shirt, could yeah. you, in the box? No, but with the momentum, we did have chances now as well. We, we, we should have taken, we should have been more clinical. That's another thing for us to improve. But you can't give yourself an uphill battle. You know, you can't make individual mistakes and a lack of concentration in crucial moments, especially set pieces, because this league relies on them. And, um, we've made progress on that, and, and it was surprising to see a little bit, a bit of that today. And that's something again, I'm going to have to go back and, and drum into the players and work on it. And like you said, if, if they're not capable of doing it, then we have to change. It's as simple as that. Because if we cut those mistakes, you see the team that we can be. See that the results would would have easily had a result today had we cut those mistakes, and um, that's the frustrating. Bit. Great free kick from Calvin Phillips. Didn't know he had that. To be honest, it was a wonderful strike, wasn't no, it? No, it was a great strike, and like I said, the result was there to be fought for. You know, that's the frustrating bit, and we had the momentum all second half, and, and especially as you know, the crowd grew frustrated with them, a bit nervous, they started to drop off. We had a lot of the ball, we were a lot of cre creation in terms of final third. We could have been better in our last decisions but then we also had chances where we need to be clinical. You have to be clinical, simple as that and that's something that we need to improve on as well. And looking at your squad then obviously the, the window closes in the next few days, are you hopeful you're going to get some more in ahead of that? Yeah we're hopeful of course, it'll be a busy time now between for all clubs um, so we have to see, I know the club will be working hard and, and we'll wait for, the, for those situations if they happen or if they don't and then um, when that window closes we have to be ready as a group. Um, we have to improve on some of the situations that we had today, but um, and keep building on, on on the good things that we've done because you can see the potential we have. It's it's right there. You know we could really be competitive, but the players need to see it. They need to really realise very quickly that they need to cut these mistakes out, um, these individual errors, and that lack of concentration, and that will give them the best chance of being really competitive in this league. No Sol Bamba today. Do we read anything into that? Oh look, I pick an 18 to football perspective it's my job to do that and, and I picked the 18 today that I thought they could have come in and got the result I think had we cut the mistakes out and concentrated it would have been the right squad it would have been the right team for sure